you always think I'd love to one day play in the Premier League? Yeah, I, I like the challenge. I think in Feyenoord I felt like comfortable. I had my place, I had everything settled there. I, I felt home over there. And was the, the thing that I was feeling, I need something that like pushed me a bit more to, to try to, to keep improving, to try to be a better player, a better person at the same time. Uh, and I think when the challenge of Bournemouth, I think it's really different than the challenge that, that I had in Feyenoord. Uh, was something that, like, I didn't want to take it. Was like, okay, uh, you are going to a team maybe where probably most of the games gonna, going to be tough. You have to work hard to to win the games to get the points, and I think that's it's exciting at the same time. Well, what we're going to do now, we're just up here on the East Cliff. We're just start, fortunately still the sun's still shining. Yeah. We're just going to have a little walk and I'm just going to show you obviously the beaches and the, and the, the landscape around here because it's a beautiful area, Bournemouth and Port. Have you had a chance yet to go to the beach? Because you obviously, you came late summer, have you had a chance to go to the beach and enjoy the scenery? Uh, I went for a walk to the beach but never to lay uh, on the sun and that stuff, no. Okay, so you're just, not in the sea yet? No, not in the sea. Oh, maybe we'll do that then. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, it's a bit cold I think. It's a it's, bit cold. Yeah, I think so. So there's your family, have any of your family moved over to England with you? Yeah, my parents are now with me. Uh, they also went to Rotterdam, but we, we were living in different uh, places over there. And now here we are, we are together, but yeah, actually it's nice to, to have the family close. I think yeah, makes course. also makes everything easier. Do they, um, are they enjoying life in England? Because it must, because obviously, when you bring your family here as well, for them it's, it's a new experience for them as well. Are they enjoying English life? Yeah, they're enjoying to, to be with me, I think, to, to, help, uh, to help me with what I need sometimes and also to, to like, yeah, to be together because when I was young, maybe probably most of the time I, I was going to school. Like, it's like a job, you know, you, uh, you go to school at 8 a.m. and then you have to train in the afternoon and you go home at 8 p.m. Yeah. So, actually, when you were young, sometimes it's like, you're still young, you have to enjoy life. Yeah, of course. And that stuff. And now I have, I have the chance to, to have them with me, to have them close to me. So I'm really enjoying that. And you've got, uh, there's, other, there's other members of your family as well, isn't there? Eh? You've got other members of your family. Four-legged, you got four-legged members of your family? Four. You're two dogs? Yeah, I have two dogs. <laughs> I have two Frenchies. Two Frenchies? Yeah. And what are their names? Uh, Luana and Olga. Okay. And you wanted, it was important that they came with you from, uh, from Feyenoord, wasn't it? From Rotterdam, because you, you, you do love your dogs, don't you? Yes, uh, yeah. Uh, Luana, I adopt her because she, uh, her owner, he couldn't, uh, she couldn't take care of her. So she was in a hotel and yeah, the moment they asked me if I wanted, at the beginning I say no because I don't know if I can take care of the, of the dog. And that was like the feeling of I should take her because uh, I think she, she will be fine with me than I don't know with someone else. So as you can see, you've got this one. Bournemouth Pier. By the way, this is a oh, hello. So, so this is um, this is one of our ex-players <laughs> <laughs> from when I used to play. <laughs> wow, there you go. You don't expect to see a mountain goat, do you, on Bournemouth Hill? But it's as you chilling, can, eh? as you can see, the the views yeah, it's beautiful, and the area is spectacular, really. There's a gentleman just stopped us, didn't he? And he said that, how yeah, many miles? I did, I did drive this one in the 60s. In the 60s, <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> uh, this one is 66, eh? 56. Uh, 56. 56. Oh, no, it's, 56. it's number. Ah, maybe, it's a number, limited edition. Only, yeah, maybe they've only made so many. One of 56. No, there you go. No, not, maybe there are not many. I don't think there's many. It's good fun, though, isn't it? It's a great little car. Only if the sun's shining. Yeah, but also it doesn't make like noise. No. It's, it's comfortable. It is comfortable. Yeah? Put on the brake in there, that's it. That's it. Yeah, just, try again. Just forward. Yeah. 
Oh no, you know what? No. Hey, break. You put, you put it. Ah, you, you did a joke with me. Okay. You make a joke with me. Okay, what's nice? That, that one was nice. <laughs>